Somebody told me non-binary people don't exist. But I found this thing in my closet. I like bread. No, sweetie, this isn't it. You can't say being gay and being trans is a choice in 2021. Not on my watch. Homophobia in this pandemic? No, ma'am. Being trans and being gay is not a choice. But being a drag queen is a choice. Because who else would purposely dress themselves up to look this crazy and put themselves in... <laughs> She tried to grab my hair. I say, Team Natural, baby. You can't catch this. She put me in the headlock and went to work on me. Who broke the fight up? <sighs> you play like you were dead. Exactly. Girl, y'all was. Yes, I did do that, but it was an accident. So, baby girl, you can't be saying Black Lives Matter if you're homophobic. Oh, that's not how that shit works. You can't be picking and choosing which Black Lives to give a fuck about. Mm -hmm. That's crusty, very much crusty, very much ugly. Dry, coochie energy. Who's the man? You the man? Strong. Hey guys, with Transgender Day of Visibility coming to a close, I thought I'd share a little bit about what I do as a trans man every day. So I put on this binder, which helps to flatten my rather large chest. It's quite tight and can be really painful, especially on my ribs and chest. I then lay in my clothes, or wear a really baggy t-shirt, to hide my chest even further. After a full day of binding, I shower, generally in the dark, so that I can't see any parts of my body. And then I'll put on my testosterone. I want two pumps of testo gel, which do one on each shoulder. After I let that dry, I put on an extra large hoodie to hide my chest before I go to bed. Chest dysphoria is something I really struggle with, and some days it can get really, really bad. I'm currently raising money for my top surgery, which is about $13,000, because I don't have health insurance and have no way to cover any of the costs. I have a GoFundMe, the link is in my bio, which I'm using to try and raise as much money as I can. It would mean the world to me if you could all share and or donate. I love you all. Sometimes I love TikTok because I just learned that if you mouth um, the, the word colorful, it looks like you're saying I love you. And I just, that's so cute.
You're not gonna leave? Promise? Guys, you know what's really horrible of me? Passionately defending the trans community. Oh, sorry, did using the F word offend you? Sometimes I think about how privileged I am to have gone to the high school that I went to and I'm going to share a little bit about it because this is how all schools should be. Sex education was partially LGBT inclusive in which we covered- Hey darling, do you know where I can put my granddaughter's food? It needs to go in the fridge. Oh yeah, of course. The little kitchen is just down this way. I can show you. Oh, I'm so silly. I've mistaken you for a nurse. You just look so young and healthy. May I ask, why are you here? No, that's fine. Um, nothing bad happened. I just had gender reassignment surgery. Oh, right. You had a baby. Congratulations. For your girl. Uh, it's a girl.